The other concern was the tenure. Well, it's important to understand when we were first contemplating this, this piece of legislation, the chief of defense staff, if you notice, will be a person strictly in an advisory slash consultant role. The chief of defense staff will have no operational control over the BDF, nor the Coast Guard. And the reason for that is you want that person to serve strictly in an advisory position. And I, you, you, you can imagine that that person will play a key role whenever we have a National Security Council meeting. And as, as a member of the, the National Security Council, I can assure you that Admiral Borland will be there on, at every meeting. And that meeting is chaired by the Prime Minister as the head of, head of the executive. And I, that's why they want the Prime Minister to be the person to determine, as the chairman of the council, whether or not the chief of defense staff is serving him or her well in the capacity as an advisor. So essentially then what we're saying, the chief of defense staff will serve at the pleasure of the prime minister.